So I apologize for the lights in the back. I know it's going to distort or distract or disrupt your view a little bit, which that's the thing sometimes is disrupting your view a little bit, isn't it? I mean, if we're trying to get to the best possible version of ourselves or of a thing, then we kind of need to shift our view. We need to distract ourselves a little bit from maybe what we think that we're looking at. It's one of the things that Steve Jobs, it seems like from what I've studied, did really, really well everywhere he was. And that was, he understood the difference. I mean, he really was like an actual physical representation of the growth mindset or the growth um, concept of uh, the way of doing things and understanding the, through the process, they could get the best product. And it was not about what was going to come at the end as much as how invested he was along the way. He, don't get me wrong, he wanted the best at the end and he was committed to that in a massive way. At the same time, it was less about like something new as much as about something that was the best. And so that's where there's a difference between those that I see do something great, like the one hit wonder you'll see on VH1 or whatever, or the flash in the pan or all these other names that we have for it, versus somebody who truly achieves sustainable greatness, really. And it's not just in one given area, it's, it's kind of in their life. And so like, I've got an RIT, Rochester Institute of Technology wrestling uh, hoodie on, and it's like a technology, right? It's, it's the same way that people go about technology. You don't see engineers wasting things, right? If something's in their process, it's not a waste. It's there for a functional reason, to solve a problem like a technology does. And so the difference that I've been holding out with sharing was Stephen Jobs, Steve Jobs wasn't, he wasn't as much worried about innovation as he was invested in iteration. And iteration really is the day by day we get better and better mentality that makes the difference between somebody who is, wow, that's un incredible, wow, that's like, you know, somebody, the, the people that get really wowed by, oh, that's new, that's the new thing, they're always on the new thing. But the new thing isn't the thing that ends, you know, ends up being the thing that moves you into that greatness. It's, it's not about that flash in the pan, it's not about the newness, it's about how can we, get this to become better than it is right now. Let's, let's hold off on what we think that we know is true. Like Naveen Jain is great at this. He says, I empty, you know, I, I, I go into things that I know nothing about, so I don't have any um, assumptions about the way things are or the way things can work. And so he kind of goes at it like a kid, creative and, and innovative, but like he's consistently... Like, it's not really innovation because he's not even aware that there was anything there to begin with. So he's not even innovating. He just, once he gets to whatever he comes to as a conclusion, he then iterates on it and it builds and it grows and it goes. And, and it's, Jim Quick says the same thing. He just empties his mind when he's learning something and it gives him such a huge capacity to learn things that he never knew that he you know, could know if he held on to what he thought he already knew. And so you look at Apple, and I, hear, I heard uh, there was a show on Netflix the other day with Bill Gates, and he was talking about, he was talking about iteration. And he was saying, you know, one of his biggest fears is that he would lose his ability to learn or, you know, kind of lose control of his brain. But that, that's a whole different thing. You know, a lot of other people are scared of other things, and he's worried of this because he knows because he can learn, and he has such a capacity, and he devours appetite for knowledge that's applicable, you know, that, that anything's possible for him. And so this iteration that goes on is really where greatness is. Yes, you, you've got to have a big why, you know, it helps to have like a, a big goal within that 
area and to be able to maintain your focus. After that though, it's really what you show up for and what you consistently build on. Because you can show up every day, and like as we're talking about sports, you could show up every day and practice, but if you're not gonna build on what you did yesterday, you're just doing the same thing over and over again. And that's not building greatness. And I'm not talking about just like, you know, shoring up the basics and the foundation. I'm talking about you need to progress every day and build every day if you're going to achieve greatness. Otherwise, you're just going to be good. And you're not going to get to great from just being good. It just doesn't happen that way. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep on getting what you've been getting. And you might be getting better at that, but you're not going to get great. It's just, it doesn't happen that way. That's not, and somebody said something to me the other day and um, it was funny because they were just like, man, I failed. I, I, I got to this level and it, and it was, man, it was like incredible. And I was like, man, I just couldn't hold that level. And I was like, well, that's okay. Um, let's step back for a minute though. Instead of feeling guilty, instead of shaming yourself, blaming yourself, um, you rose to that level, but maybe you didn't stay at that level because that's not the level you wanted to get to. You got to here, which is awesome, way above like most of the people are here, but you wanna get to here. So what you did to get to here, do you think it's gonna get you to there? Probably not, so the fact that this collapsed or dropped way down gives you a chance to figure out what it is it's gonna to take to make that push to here. And so instead of looking at it like, oh, I got stuck or I hit a plateau or I knew it wouldn't last, look at it as, Oh, here's my opportunity to build it the way that I need to, to get to here. Because like if you're climbing a mountain, the climber that can get here and gets here greatly, it's not the same climber, you know, that's going to get to that level. You got to add something to get to that level. It's a different skill. There's different techniques. Um, there's different tactics as well. So what are the things that you could iterate on right now to get better and better? day by day so that you can get yourself to the top. And what is the top? You know, where is it that you really want to go? And once you get there, what will that mean to you? And what you desire to feel so that when you get there, you know what to feel and what it'll mean. And the fact that then you set another goal and continue to go from there instead of saying, oh, this is the end. You know, what's the next innovation? what's the next iteration where you're at. If you want to continue, that might be just the end of the book for you. That's fine as far as that particular focus goes and then you're on to the next thing. All of which is okay. It's up to you to decide what it is that you've made an agreement with yourself with or anybody else so that you can honor where you want to go and where you want to be and who you want to have on that journey with you. It's completely up to you and you know, it comes through iteration. That's the best way to go. And you know, there's a reason why Apple is so successful. And also Bill Gates and Microsoft.